The painting is based on a poem. It's a Greek myth about nymphs. Diana is the goddess of the hunt, and Callisto was her favourite nymph. She was the most beautifulest, and most people liked her. Callisto uh, was lured by Jupiter, and he raped her. And then she becomes pregnant, but she's scared, and she wants to hide it. Diana thinks the nymph should be pure and not have children. Callisto looks like she's got nowhere to go and really scared of what's going to happen next. She's been backed into a corner by all her friends and Diana. And then Diana basically um, banishes her. Even though it was ages ago that the painting was painted, there's a lot of relevance to, like, nowadays, and there's still kind of same stuff that happens. It's like teenage pregnancy and, um, like, betrayal and being part of a gang and following their rules and things like that. Straight Talking is a charity which employs teenage mothers and young fathers. We train them to go into schools to deliver a programme about the realities and the implications of young parenthood. It reduces teenage pregnancy and it gets teenage parents back into education and employment. The National Gallery asked if we would like to be involved in a, a programme with them, a project where they're exploring a painting by Titian that has an implication in the narrative about teenage pregnancy and they wanted to come to the experts who are the teenage parents. We was asked to come along to the National Gallery to do a focus group, a young parents focus group, to focus on Diana and Callisto painting. And then they said that they'd be really interested for me to go to the schools and speak to the pupils regarding the painting and my own life experiences. So I did. Shannon went into the schools and delivered a PSHE session where she talked about the connections she herself had found between her own life and experiences as a young parent, making that revelation to her peers and family, and what she felt she saw in the Diana and Callisto myth. I was a young parent, okay, I had a baby when I was quite young, and when I got pregnant I was really scared, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know who to tell, I didn't know where to go. And my friends wasn't very supportive and I couldn't do the stuff that they wanted me to do and I couldn't go out with them and stuff like that, so they literally didn't want to be my friend no more. When Shannon came in to work with the pupils, she asked them to think about different issues that came up, how they might feel if it happened to them. She allowed them to ask some very personal questions um, and I think it really helped them to get some extra insight into the plight of Callisto at this moment in the painting. Shannon is basically like an example of Callisto. You could sort of um, understand the, um, the how Callisto felt. I think talking with Shannon was really interesting because you kind of got her point of view and you understood how it would have been to like be in like, yeah, her shoes and you really understood how she was feeling at the time and not just what you would think she would be feeling. Going to the National Gallery to actually see the Titian painting was a great opportunity for our students to actually sit in front of the painting and actually discuss it and actually look at the real thing uh, to see details and things in there that they would never have seen uh, in a book or, or a, a print of the uh, painting. I went to the art gallery to, to look at the painting in like close up and it was really big. When I first saw it, I didn't, I didn't really know where it was going to be all about. I thought it looked quite boring, but it's actually really interesting. And look at those two. We can see the back of a head, and they're in the shadows, and they're facing each other. What are those two saying to each other? I did expect at the beginning the pupils to be a little bit, um, perhaps, nervous talking around issues such as rape and pregnancy, but I feel like there's such an ease now in the class they feel quite free to talk about these issues and in a very mature way. The painting has taught me to be less judgmental and also to study more or look into detail of other paintings. It's made me learn about judging people and that there's always a story behind something that sometimes you don't listen to. Things that happen in it are very similar to what happens today. Like, not everything, but the basic human 
aspect of it and like the relationships between people still go on today. What's been really good is sort of really analysing these relationships in class. The pupils have been really, really good at drawing parallels between what's going on in this painting, which was painted hundreds of years ago, and being able to still find relevance in it to their lives. There are ways of engaging young people to bring that Titian painting to life, to bring it into their own world and make it relevant from their perspective is just perfect.